HMS Empire Mica was sunk by a German U-boat, U-67, um, back in June of 1942. The Gulf of Mexico was also the outlet for the Mississippi River. There was so much manufacturing materials, supplies, goods to support the war effort in, in Europe that left from the Gulf Coast. So the German U-boat activity in the Gulf of Mexico was ferocious and it was frequent. Empire Mica decided to hug the coast of Florida on their way to make it up the co east coast in order to get to the, the shipping lanes as it hugged the coast. This was where the captain of U-67 decided that he would go fishing for targets. Two torpedoes struck the vessel, uh, burned for three days, and 33 lives were lost that night as, uh, as just the captain and a few others survived that, that horrific tragedy. One of the most significant dive sites here in Northwest Florida and also in the Gulf of Mexico is the HMS Empire Mica. It's in about 120 plus feet of water. It's an advanced dive uh, off the coast of Cape San Blas, Apalachicola area in the Gulf of Mexico. The ship was only about a year old, so it was in amazing condition. A number of dive operators will make trips to the Mica. It's an all day trip out there, still on the top of the, of the vessel. Uh, there is a cast steel prop that matches the, the bronze prop that's in front of Captain Harrison's restaurant. So now you've got a, a very large hull in the water. You can still go inside of it. Uh, there's boilers there as the ship was carrying over 12,000 tons of petroleum leaving the Texas coast for the British Isles to support the war effort.